on the money. Straight away, Pat Cummins. Clipped away. Off the mark with a very elegant boundary. Oh, glorious. Drifting onto the pads and tuck. Oh, this time he's found the gap. It found the fielder. Oh, absolutely glorious. Just a gentle push. That's all it took. And again. There he goes. He's done with the watching. He's into the playing now. Four. Just on the back foot and realizing this, this is a wonderful ground to battle. Just the pressure release ball. There's three at the beginning of the over. Asking for trouble. It's a magnificent strike by Shikhar Dhawan and this one's gone a long, long way. It's gone big. The pull shot again, short ball from... Oh, what? Ball it short. And this pitch, it was just easy. Short and down the leg side. Look at there with that fielding. That's going to be four. This is more like Virat Kohli's ended the cover drive that Roy Sharma plays uh, as well. He plus. Maybe more now. Yes. Now Sean Marsh is not going to make the effort. It's too far away. Sharma finishing that over with the boundary. One. Running. And we'll go for four. Just for a minute, the bowler must have... Now that's the reason Rohit Sharma's strike rate keeps going up because once he's set, he plays a full shot to the fielder there, fielder there. We'll take the catch. It's looking really good, Rohit Sharma. But he's gone to his strength, which is pulling out the front foot. No one does it better. But this time he's found the fielder at last. Australia have their breakthrough they were searching for. Checking the no ball. Rohit oh, Sharma very, very disappointed. The square boundaries are much bigger than straight boundaries. No problem with the no ball. A big heart for Jai Richardson. Previous short delivery was dispatched quite easily. But this one not bouncing as much. So the bat low was uh, down to up. And the straightforward catch for Peter Hanscom. A terrific innings that comes to an end for Rohit Sharma. In... What a superlative effort. 95 for Old Sharma, India. 193 for one. Oh, lovely. Lovely 100 not out. Shikhar Dhawan from 97 balls. What a welcome century. You can let the smiles run. He's got his back amongst the runs. And Indian cricket's happier for it. Absolutely phenomenal performance today from the word go. Shikhar Darwin, he loves to ride horses and he well and truly had the reins today. Stunning, stunning performance. Well, has he got enough? Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Once again, using the feet, Sados. And he's actually deceived in the air because he was nowhere near the pitch of the ball. Credit for Shikadavan that he went through with this shot. This is an amazing strike. Gets the leg side of the ball. He was nowhere near the ball. But he goes through with it. Great. Oh, beats the fielder inside the circle for four. He's toying with the bowling now. 10,000 runs for Shikhar Darwin, and don't the crowd know it. In this day matches, they're all on their feet. And they can sense something here today that's just significant. Something special. He's striking away at will. He's pinpoint in the middle of the gap. He's dominating everything.
It's one of those innings from Shikha Dhawan. He might have scored a lot more runs on the leg side than the offside. The bowling has been straight every now and again, short, and he gets into terrific positions. Two fielders in the deep, already deep in the crease. That gives him that extra bit of time to play this well-controlled shot. Wasn't lofting it, hitting it into the ground. Shikadavan. Exactly the point I was making. There's two fielders there, and that's gone in the gap. That's what Hedos is talking about. You just know where the gaps are, Shikadavan does today. 233 for one. Another big over, 11 runs of the over. And two boundaries conceded, both of similar deliveries and similar shots. It's so well said, the short deliveries are going to disappear. Right, he figured out the field was inside the circle, but it wouldn't have mattered because it was a sub that was catching it. He's batting the way he wants to bat, similar deliveries. One went through mid-wicket and this one easily clearing the straight field. 50 partnership comes up. And it's been Shikadavan doing all the domination here. Well, on that occasion, he got a little bit further away from the ball by giving himself room at that front. That oh, this is just complete dominance. You bowl wherever I am going to have a go at you. That's what Shikha seems to say. And I dare say that uh, the ball went off the bat faster than it came onto the bat. Because he was down the pitch. And he really smashed it, really gave it a thump. Pat Cummins is no slouch. He can bowl quick. He bowled that ball at 130. Oh, this time he's cleaned him up. Absolutely going for a big shot over mid wicket, missing it, and a much needed wicket for Australia. It's Shikhar Dhawan who's been dismissed. It's been good thinking from Pat Cummins after the first ball. He was he changed around the wicket, changed the angle, angling the ball into the left hander, not allowing the room that he loves outside the off stump. You can see he's gone wide of the crease and he's angled the ball in. And he looked to play the heave over mid wicket, missed it completely. 143 to him, 254 for two. Oh, no one there. What a shot. Absolutely brilliant from Virat Kohli. 265 for two. He's never had reason to play this kind of a shot before, but he's coming at a situation where uh, India is looking to get boundaries and sixes of just about every delivery. That's why, look, Rahul is... And there's that wide delivery and appeal goes up. Oh, I'm not sure what's happened. I think they think they've got him here, the Australians. They've gone... Gone up for it. Well, he seemed to be asking, uh, Kohli seemed to be asking the wicketkeeper whether he'd taken it clean, and that's the soft signal from Kumar Dharmasena where he thinks it's out. There are two noises, that, that's what I'm trying to think. The front foot's fine. Maybe the bat hitting the ground and then off the edge of the bat. Oh, it's looking like a, a bit of an edge there. I think that's, this could be out. As we were speaking about... That's definitely think that is not gone clean into the wicket keeper's gloves, but the umpire thinks it's out. It's in the ground. Virat Kohli dismissed for seven. It's 200. Oh! Swept fine. A dive, but in vain. A boundary to end the over for K. Oh, how good is that now? Literally everywhere in the park. Cover drive, a little clip, and now the mid-wicket drive. Well, just to show you can play on the other side of the pitch as well. The first ball is driven extra cover on the offside. Now he's hit it past mid-wicket. Exactly the opposite. This time the bottom man coming into play. Magnificent again. Yeah, Richardson again going full. And easy shot. Tempted Yorker there from Richardson. I'd, I'd just like to see him just keep it simple here. Don't mind him going back 
around the wicket to the left-hander. That was the first ball of the over. Yeah! Caught. Trying to be cheeky. Had to walk on his own KL Rahul. A wicket for Zampa to end the over. 296 for four. Yeah, I was just saying that Zampa has got the big breakthroughs this series. Oh, just trying to really get... That was Zampa's 50th wicket in one day internationals. And Rahul has to go for 26. India, 296 for four. With his last. Oh, it's a wonderful shot. Oh, he did that well. The man had long off, the man had long off. He bisected them. And just for good measure, cleared the boundary too. The bowler you think last over may as well get in a tight over. I bowl nine very good overs. But Rishabh Pant is thinking last over of the leg spinner. Let, let me make full use of it. Very good footwork. Same man, don't please that first. Go find the field or it does. So silence, bit of an anti climax, and Rishabh Pant is gone for 36. Looking to clear mid on, didn't quite. Yeah, just this little area of improvement for Rishabh Pan every time he tries the big shot. Pan has gone for 36, India 314 for five. I've always loved his attitude towards the game, Shikhar Dhawan. Now a batsman in his position, getting 100 today, some low scores, people wondering about his form and his place in this Indian team goes on and gets a fabulous hundred as you said but when he was celebrating there was no there it is again you've got to play the big shot and the big shot gets you out because these are long boundaries down at backward square so this is good bowling by Australia another Indian batsman goes down there's a clatter of wickets towards the end yeah just like Roy Sharma and the moment he played it he knew he was out it's amazing the moment he played it Played reasonably well. He knew he had it straight to the fielder. And you can see that fielder well inside the boundary rope. 31 for 6 with 2 overs to go. Vijay Shankar in strike. Right, well, finds a way to go downtown. And clears the boundary for 6. It was a short ball again, but he got into position very quickly. Yeah, excellent. He loves to go straight, but you'll see premeditation here. And it's very smart from Vijay Shankar. He knew the length was going to be short. Have a look at him. He's just waiting on the back foot, flat batted it. He's got the power, that's for sure. He's got the confidence yes, to hit it to beat wicket now. Oh, it's a fine. No, he's taken. I thought it might just have cleared him. So the wickets continue to go. Carey takes a takes a good one. Bhuvneshwar's idea was right, but uh, couldn't clear the man on strike for the final over. India now 344 for seven. Nice, he got hold of that. Hold of it well enough. It's a might. Very high. Maxwell's called for it at deep mid wicket. He'll take it. So another wicket goes down. India have lost eight, but this is a good effort from uh, Vijay Shankar. He's got 26 of 15 at the end. It's the fourth dismissal of the short delivery with the long boundaries coming into play. But it just held on to the surface a little longer. Because he's timing the ball beautifully. This one went in the air. It was in the air for a long, long time. And a very good catch. Judge nicely. He's gone for 26. India now 351 for 8. Oh, there's a cotton ball. He started badly. And he's finishing the catch. It was not in his control. Chahel gone for a duck. 352 for 9. Have imagined India would have their last batsman in. Oh, and Bumrah connects. You don't see that too often. What a shot from Jaspreet Bumrah. And you can see from the reaction. Oh, they didn't expect it either. Bumrah is going to never tire of telling this tale. And they're going to never tire of hearing it. Well, at some point, the bowling form 43 was a wonderful innings. It was for 70. It was a bit expensive early on. Straight away the one coming in, but missing leg stump. That's why went for the appeal and stopped midway. Cleaned him up. What a delivery. 
What an absolute peach from Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. First wicket down for Australia. It's a big gap between bat and pad. Big gap. Even a and across the pad. He's gone for a duck. It's three for one. Goes through this time. From the back foot, four runs to finish the over. 11 for one. Yes. As well. Oh, Yorker. And knocks the off stump. So the second wicket falling. And this time, it's Bumra, the wicket taker. And the man dismissed is Sean Marsh. It's not easy to bowl a Yorker to a left-hander, particularly if you're bowling over the wicket. Yes, to a right-hander, because you get to see the three stumps, but uh, to the left-hander, not so easy. But he's got it spot on. Sean Marsh, palpably. 142 kilometers per hour, 6 to Marsh, 12 for 2. On the up, and a beautiful shot. Yes, and again, uh, no extra cover, more uh, towards uh, cover. Allows the batsman to play with a straight bat. Doesn't have to open the face of the bat. See that, it's such a straight bat, easily played. If only the fielder had been to his right, he would have been able to stop. At the stumps, the Kawajas pounced on a loose one. We saw Australia bowl this as well, Mitch, early up. Bowl very straight at the stumps and they got punished for it. Yeah, it's something that in these conditions, you don't want to be doing that too often. That's a nice shot from Kawaja. Just letting the pace of the ball. Oh no, he's hit it in front of square for four. Once again, Bumra is drifting into the pads. But like Cummins did early on. Two quality bowlers, but uh, they've gone for runs. And I think this is where Australia struggled at the start, or probably throughout the whole innings. They got a bit too full at times. This is a half volley length. It's an easy shot on this this pitch. And with that pace coming on, you don't have to overhit things. So, yeah, just hitting the thing. Vijay Shankar and Kedar Jadu to bowl yeah, their overs is gone. Ariel is gone flat. That's the way to do it. Good thinking from Hanscom. I just wonder where the message came at the drinks interval. To do this to Kedar Jadu. This is good tactically from Australia. And more importantly, hit it in the gap. Good use of the feet. Kuldeep will continue. It's Kedar Jadav who continues and he swept away beautifully. Now he's looking to up the ante, Usman Khwaja. Yeah, it's required rate has gone up. And now Chael showing his class. And Rishabh Pant has missed one behind the stumps. Signal buys. Superb delivery. Now Hanscom, 50 behind him. And he's put the ball in the gap for four. It's wonderfully done. It was a nice, juicy full toss, but he still had to know exactly where the fielders were. So they're starting to up that tempo a little bit now, Australia. And nothing like a first ball uh, of the over boundary. Puts pressure on the bowler. Yes, this is a nice... Oh, good shot. Good shot. We showed that a little while ago with the contact points. He comes down the wicket sometimes. He plays a sweep shot sometimes. And I think that's where he's looking, Hanscom, to get his boundaries is with the sweep shot. He's played a lot of... He's an excellent player and the way in which he uses his feet. Even Kedar Jadav because of an easy bowler to take away. Miskill, taken, Bumra, good choice of bowlers, he wanted a breakthrough with Virat Kohli, Gordon Bumra just one over before Brinks, and it was with Kawaja for 91 and it's 204 for three. Four more, straying in line, it's an easy put away. Well when you have a look at the difference between which is where he's gone. There is no fielder there, but it wouldn't have mattered because he's cleared the boundary. He's got a, an incredible ability of either foot to clear. Ah! That's gone out. 
They've got a and I think that's I think that's looking Maxwell. It is. Oh, it's a good shot. It's a fine shot from Turner. We already saw him hit what. And he's put it in the gap again. So it's a big over this for Australia. 13. Was to allow Chael. Now this ball is up in the air. The catch is taken. India, at Australia at 271. In strike, the new batsman. Not Turner. Who's gone for it and got the six. Oh, it's another. It's another sensation shot from Turner. It was a nice juicy full toss, but this guy can really pack a punches. Oh, another one. And that's going to be four, and that's going to be his 50 as well. His first, and what a crucial knock this is turning out to be. Might just win the game for Australia. Aye. There he is again. It's another biggie. He's just flicked it over that massive boundary on the lake side. And having said that, he's done something very unorthodox. What's more, he's gone all the way. Oh, there's no fielder. Every shot hit by an Australian in the last 30 minutes has either been dropped or has found the gap. Oh, that's going to be for everything going against him. It's too needed now. And this one has gone to head. Has it been taken? Yes. Shikhar Dhawan takes the catch. Alex Carey played his part. 21 of 15. Oh, what a partnership that with Ashton Turner. 357 for six. He's on strike. And guess the man of the match for tonight. Is he going to get the second run? Oh, they've gone for it. Ashton Turner has made it. On Australia, just add uh, David Wong as well. Expensive, just the one wicket. It's just two bit. They didn't come in and they fell short. So you can understand. Make his own decision. Don't forget that anything you deal with is only one thing and nothing else. And don't forget that the language of Oman and our all. Don't forget to follow our destination through the conclusion. Before I go, I wanted to tell you a little story. A certain shopkeeper sent his son to learn about the secret of happiness. From the wisest person in the world, the land wandered through the desert of 14 days and finally came upon a beautiful castle high atop mountains. It was there for a wise lady. Rather than finding a scientific man through our hero on entering the main room of the castle saw a high of activity. Prayers men came and went and people were what in the corner a small orchestra was playing softly. And they invited people to come with a platter of the world to food. Food, part of the, the wise man conserved with the everyone and the boy had to wait for two hours. It was done to give man attention. The wise man listened attentively. And it turned into a Meanwhile, I want to ask you to do something, said the wise man, handing the boy a teaspoon that had to drop off a while. He would rather carry the spoon with you without allowing the all to spill the boy. Boy William climbing the descending the many stairs of the place, keeping his eye fixed 